All right, it is Friday, so we check in with our friend Mike while we do it Monday through Friday. But uh, today's Friday, I just want to point that out. Mike, good morning to you. Hello, good morning. How are you? <laughs> doing all right, doing okay. Uh, we are chatting about job numbers this morning, and this is going to be significant, both Canada and the U.S., um, for the month of May. What are you predicting here? I mean, I think we know what the trend's going to look like, but what do the numbers, what could they look like? Well, the economists uh, are basically saying that we're going to see a half million jobs lost here in Canada for the month of May on top of the three million plus for March and April. So the pandemic shutdown has absolutely decimated the labor market, Melanie, and the unemployment rate is going to spike to north of 15 percent, which is, you know, one of the highest levels we've seen in uh, dating back to the early 1980s. And then in the United States, 8 million American jobs lost last month at an unemployment rate north of 19 percent. So massive uh, hit to the jobs market here on both sides of the border. But it's not about what is already has already transpired. Now it's the how quickly do things recover? And that is the big unknown for economists. They're saying, OK, how many hours worked? Are there for people who still have jobs? Um, what is the breakdown from age categories, race, gender, uh, sectors? And then going forward, you know, will companies be as quick to rehire or bring back employees? Or the worry is that some might think, hey, We've been able to go through a pandemic and continue to operate our businesses with fewer workers. That's and a that big worry, yeah. raises some big questions about the rebound on the other side of this thing. Absolutely. Uh, let's talk about some of the retailers. If you're an outdoorsy yeah. person, you know all about sale. I know my husband mm -hmm. loves it. Um, not going to love this news, though. Earlier in the week, they announced uh, they're filing for uh, bankruptcy uh, protection and... Uh, uh, let's face it, the retail sector is adjusting and has been hit hard. Uh, sale is going to close a store in Vaughan, one in Etobicoke, four in Quebec. I think it has 18 across the country. It's based in Quebec, Laval, Laval uh, 1,800 jobs total. So they're going to reorganize. And then, uh, of course, we've heard about all the other companies that have already announced uh, previous restructurings, Melanie. Uh, J.C. Penney in the United States says they're closing 174 stores, I believe it is. The Gap just reported earnings, a billion-dollar loss in the first quarter. And then, I just want to quickly mention, just saw Bombardier mm -hmm. announced 2,500 job cuts at their aviation operations, business jets. So yesterday they announced uh, job cuts at Metrolinx, the TTC, and their, uh, service, uh, their uh, maintenance business. So, I mean, again, talk about the jobs already lost. They're still coming. Uh, through the, the labor market. Mike, with that Bombardier announcement, where are these jobs coming out of? Oh. Uh, primarily here in Canada and the business jet operations. Okay. Bombardier has already sold their rail operations and uh, subways and such. They're, they're, they're scaling back, and now they're still a business jet company, but they're reducing the workforce there, too. Mortgage insurance, Mike, this is an, uh, an interesting yeah. one here um, about this market and how this all is going to work out. Yeah, uh, this is for mortgage insurance for first-time buyers, uh, high-ratio mortgages where you're going in with uh, a limited down payment and, uh, in some cases, borrowing for the down payment. How this is all going to be um, tabulated by the CMHC, the federal operation that uh, has mortgage insurance, your credit score also has to be higher. And this kind of came out of the blue yesterday, Melanie, and it's a, at a time when you're looking at the real estate market still being one of the positive underpinnings for the economy. So now they might actually make it more difficult, and it's risk assessment, right? Mm -hmm. they're, they're worried about, again, the labor market and how this affects real estate. So, But the timing of it was really suspect, and a lot of people are saying, really, now you're doing this? You should have been doing this a long time ago, as opposed to letting the market get ahead of itself and overheat and get... Canadians too much in debt. Right. And then come on back. So, oh. so you know, it's a, it's second guessing, sure. But again, uh, from a timing standpoint, it was somewhat questionable. And we'll see if we're, there's comment about that coming up today out of Ottawa. Yeah, we'll be watching that one for sure. And uh, Mike, we'll check back in with you a little bit later on when those job right. numbers do come out around 830 or so. So we'll check in with you for the National Hour. Thank you. Have a great weekend. All right. Weekend. Thank you. You too.